Hi everybody, this is Vichy Vardarajan. So today I'm going to be doing something different. It is uh, the street food, so to say, of Mylapore Chennai. Mylapore which throbs with activity and there is always a crowd because you have the famous Kapalishwara temple. So this is a street food made as a snack, particularly in Chennai and in Mylapore. And we call it the Vingaya Pakoda, that is onion pakoda. They are deep fried, of course. Now you have the air fryers and uh, different ways of doing it, but air fryers always take a longer time, or in an oven or something. Nothing comes as perfect or as near as deep frying certain dishes that uh, we have been doing for so many years. So this is what we call pakoda, in which we add chickpea flour and we add rice flour. And I'm also going to add Indian oregano that we call ajwe. And they don't usually add the green peppers also, I'm going to add that. So let's see how we do it. Pakoda on the peer sonale the street food dham. Street food na and the street food when the Chennai la rumba famous. The city of Chennai la Pakoda, Bajji, this is all Pramadama Pogu, all of them are in the world. In the Pakoda, I am talking about Mailapur, it is very popular. There is a particular place where they are in the same place. Pakoda is a Pakoda, a Vengaya Pakoda, a Mundri Parpu Pakoda. This is what I am doing. I am doing everything that I am doing. I am doing a lot of work in the world. I am doing a lot of work in the world. And Sombu, Pergaya, Karapadi, Uppu, I am doing all of them. Mundri perpu and wenga yang rendah ini setuna kalau pen, rupa pramada marco. Adu adu de details allah ker description box le potrike. Naa peser cie, ane kalau bela exacta solat teriya de, ane ana rupa involved ar pen sa pat le. So adu yepri pandra de, yed pandra de, allah ana kamchir ke. Adu ni pargo adi mardi pandungo. Kuncung gude different ta allah me, adu kadei orda gude tastya oru. Or malanal lau kandi nda pakoda sapta coffee oda tea oda ya puri irukun teri madu filter coffee oda, okay? Try panngo. Ippa kami ke perena. I'm going to add two portions of chickpea flour, which we call besan or chana dal, and one portion of rice flour. To this, I add green chilies. I add the cashew. I add the green peppers and I add the onions. I will be adding chili powder. You can add cane pepper too because it's not very spicy since we are adding green chilies and uh, hing powder. Salt, oregano, the Indian oregano, that is what we call ajwain, or we say omam in Tamil, and anise seed, I've just crushed it, I'm going to add this, and all this, I'm going to mix first before adding water, because the onion leaves a lot of water. So that itself makes it wet. I can feel the wetness in my hand because of the onions. After I mix it really well, I'm going to add a little bit of water. And in the end, before I fry it, I'm going to add the hot oil to this and mix it up again. Very little. Make sure it's not too much. Okay. In the meantime, we'll allow the oil to get heated up. It has to be at the right temperature. And when it gets to that temperature, lower it to a medium flame, and then you start making these. You can see it'll have a sizzling sound when we drop it in the, here. So if it has too much of water, it's going to take in a lot of oil. So just to check whether the oil is hot or not, we'll drop in a small piece and see. So this is good enough. And we start dropping it in. Here you go. It cannot be soft, but it has to be absolutely crispy. 
So this is a variation of adding green peppers and ajwain, which is a little different from what I've dealt with in my Kindle book, because in my Kindle book, I have done the very traditional way. This is something I saw my daughter's friend doing in the US and I thought it's very tasty and I wanted to try this out. Pinch it from your hand a little bit. Not drop it, but pinch it so it falls better. Check for the salt content when you mix it because make sure you've not added excess of salt. This has indeed got an excellent oregano flavor already. I can get that aroma. Mylapur is one of the haunts I love in Chennai. I love to visit to buy all my needs in the kitchen. Vegetables, everything is available in Mylapur. For anybody who comes to Chennai for the first time, Mylapur is something that they have to visit. So on a rainy day, today actually it's very muggy. It's not very bright. There is no sunshine outside. It just happened to be a muggy day. So I thought I will do it today and show it. Actually, you make these pakodas separately with cashew and separately with onion. But I put both together in this. So, so don't turn it immediately. Just stay for a few seconds and then you turn it. Because you don't want the batter to stick to your ladle. These ladles are very convenient for deep fried stuff. It's always available in all the market. I, and I've seen it's available in the groceries in the US and elsewhere. You can try buying these. These are much more convenient than the pea holder um, flat ladle that you get. This is done. I'm going to take it out. In the end, you can even add a, a little curry leaf. It gives a good flavor too. Just roast it a little bit and add to the pakodas. Okay. Fried enough. I've added it. So here are those beautiful pakodas. There's onion in this. You can see the green pepper and you can also see the cashew bit stuck to the batter. So it has the flavor of the green pepper. It has the flavor of the cashew and you bite into it. And then you have the flavor of the onion and Indian oregano that is ajwain. You don't get much of the flavor of the curry leaves but the rest of it stand out. Try this recipe at home. This is unbeatable. You can't compare this to a chili cheese toast also. It has all the Indian flavors and it's so tasty because sometimes we can indulge ourselves in something that is deep fried and uh, we won't regret it. And share your photographs and what you have tried on my uh, Instagram and Facebook and I would love to see all your feedback and if there is any question I am there to answer. Do share it on your WhatsApp with all your friends. Ask them to subscribe to my channel because uh, I am trying to uh, showcase the traditional recipes that we do in this cuisine. Please subscribe to channel. Okay, so see you next time or Pudu recipe or Namarame. Bye.